soldier has attained the rite of passage into the army's infantry. In order to understand the importance of this ceremony, you must first understand the task of the infantryman. The infantry is the basic ground fighting force in the United States Army. Its mission is to close with, destroy, or capture the enemy by use of fire and maneuver. An infantryman arrives at the battlefield by land, sea, or air. They are capable of operating in the darkness of night and under the most extreme climatic conditions. In meeting with the various challenges of combat, today's infantrymen must possess an almost superhuman combination of skill, endurance, and personal sacrifice. The infantry has the most demanding job in the Army. With the increased firepower and sophistication of today's weapons and tactics, every infantryman must be proficient in over 200 tasks in order to fight, win, and survive on the modern day battlefield. With the help of the drill sergeants, these soldiers standing before you have mastered the basic skills necessary to become infantrymen. The task of the drill sergeant is to mold ordinary individuals into highly trained, highly motivated, and well-disciplined soldiers. Once the Army's non-commissioned officers have accomplished this, these young men are no longer ordinary individuals. They are America's finest. They are the infantry. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise to honor the nation with the playing of the national anthem and remain standing for the invocation to be given by Chaplain Joel Kelly, 1st Battalion, 19th Infantry Regiment Chaplain. Thank you for this great Army Day. These soldiers who stand before you today are ready to take their place among our nation's heroes. As these guardians of freedom take, turn blue this morning, we pray that you would bless their hard work and de dedication to defend our great nation. This noble task to defend against tyranny should not be taken lightly, but with courage and resolve, do what others do, dare not. We ask that you would also bless these drill sergeants who have spent countless hours preparing these soldiers for that noble task. And as always, bless these families who have traveled far and given their sons and daughters to defend this great nation. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. The following soldiers are receiving certificates of achievement for being recognized as their platoon honor graduates. The first platoon honor graduate is Private William Conister from Topeka, Kansas. His follow-on assignment is RASP. We ask that you hold your applause till the end of the <laughs> handing out of the certificates. The second platoon honor graduate is Specialist Marco Gambruno from Limas, California. His follow-on assignment is RASP. 
the third platoon honor graduate is POC Henry Mascow from Olathe, Kansas. His follow-on assignment is SFAS. The fourth platoon honor graduate is Private Sam Trecky from Wayne, New Jersey. His follow-on assignment is SFAS. The soldier with the highest PT score award goes to Specialist Ethan Garrity from Geneva, Illinois. He is receiving the Army Achievement Medal for scoring 300 points on the Army Physical Fitness Test, the highest in the company. The test consists of two minutes of push-ups, two minutes of sit-ups, and a two-mile run, with each event worth 100 points. If the soldier scores at least 100 points in each event, then he is awarded extra points in each category exceeded to result in his final score. Specialist Garrity's follow-on assignment is SFAS. Private David Cundiff is receiving the Army Achievement Medal for earning the expert marksman qualification by scoring 40 out of possible 40 with the M4 carbine rifle during basic rifle marksmanship training. His qualification score was the highest in the company. His follow-on assignment is airborne. Ladies and gentlemen, please give the awardees a round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, the commander, Bravo Company, 2nd Battalion, 58th Infantry Regiment, Captain Brandon C. Butler. Major General Anderson, Brigadier General Ribas, Sergeant Major Spaulding, Sergeant Major Snow, Sergeant Major Blunt, Lieutenant Colonel Bordon, thank you all for being here. And uh, especially thanks uh, for being here, uh, Master Sergeant Retired Petrie. Um, thank you for the support that you all have provided over this entire cycle. Uh, we couldn't have done this without you. Uh, I'd also like to thank all the families for coming out here for the second time. Uh, it means a lot, and uh, none of us would get very far without the support we have from our families. And it's no different for the hardest profession in the world, being in the United States Infantry. Thank you for being here and everything that you do and for supporting your soldiers through this entire cycle. 22 weeks is a long time, especially uh, if you don't have the family to support you going through it. So thank you very much. For our uh, training cadre, uh, thank you for your support. We had an excellent team and a 12-man uh, contractor unit. Uh, we couldn't have done this without you. Uh, your support was invaluable. And uh, lastly, uh, of the trainers, is the uh, drill sergeants. You guys don't get thanked enough. Uh, hopefully you'll get a fair share of hugs after this um, and at least a couple thank yous. Um, job well done. Uh, take the rest of the day off after five. <laughs> and finally to the trainees, again, 22 weeks is no, no laughing matter, um, and it's not a short amount of time by any stretch. Uh, you guys did an excellent and outstanding job and are ready to make a direct impact to whatever unit you're going to next. Take the training and the lessons that you've learned here to your gaining unit, and uh, maybe teach your uh, team leaders and squad leaders something about being an infantryman. Do, uh, do great things, and uh, welcome to the family. Blood of my enemies, love of country, follow me.
Soon these soldiers will be awarded the infantry blue cord. The blue cord distinguished the infantrymen from all other soldiers and is a mark of excellence for those who earn it. Today you will witness a special moment in history. Some of the infantrymen standing before are called legacy infantrymen. This is when a family member was an infantryman during their time in service and are now passing the blue cord onto the new generation. The previous generation is now entrusting the new generation to pick up the call to defend the Constitution of the United States, the American people, and this great nation we call home. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask that only the family members that have been identified as legacy members move forward to the front of your infantrymen and present them their blue cord. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain silent until the passing of the blue cord has finished. At this time, family members and loved ones, please feel free 